Well, with the cervical spine, I perform a procedure in the neck where under x-ray guidance, the needle's placed from the side of the neck. It's an, what we refer to as an anterior approach. And it's placing the needle directly where the nerve is irritated and inflamed. And it's considered a high risk procedure. However, if you have the proper training and experience in doing it, it's really not as high risk as it should be. And I've been doing this procedure for now over 10 years safely and effectively and great outcomes. And so there's very few doctors in the area that actually perform this procedure. And this is typically a patient that presents with neck pain and they have a pinched nerve in their neck and it radiates into their shoulder and arm and it can be very excruciating the pain. So, and I've had about a 90% success rate with it where patients are very satisfied and get their pain significantly reduced and get their quality of life back. So that's the first procedure. The second procedure that's unique to me is in the lumbar spine where I rupture a synovial cyst that is coming off the joint in the lower back, pinching on the nerve, compressing the nerve. In the past, patients would all undergo surgery for this type of pathology. However, I've had, again, about a 93% success rate with helping these patients where I can rupture the cyst under x-ray guidance with a needle, and they drew wonderful in terms of reducing their pain, getting off their pain medications, and avoiding surgery. So when I was in fellowship training at the Hospital for Special Surgery, at that time, the biologics were a hot topic and being researched where patients would receive what we referred to as growth factors, specifically, platelet-rich plasma, also known as PRP, which I'm sure many have heard of. And that's being now used to place into the discs of the spine and other areas of the body, such as shoulders and knees and hips. And it's the new wave of the future where you're trying to regenerate the natural tissue that's been injured. And that's even more of a way to avoid injection procedures with steroid or surgery where you're trying to heal the body with the patient's blood where it's spun down and the growth factors, the PRP is placed precisely where the injury is. So that's something I'm really excited about in the future to perhaps start a study and see if this can be the new technology that will help patients.